I think it's wrong by the, you know, the state government or the federal government that Robert Hughes is going to be released from prison early. Now, he's a convicted pedophile, um, and some of his crimes were covered up during the, what, the 1990s when um, the show Hey Dad was around. Now, he was uh, found guilty of crimes against children during the 1990s against co-stars and the network which was channel 7 at the time covered it up covered up what he did to those children and you know they did that back in those days because the cults run most of the tv networks here in australia of course and yeah they're the ones that are going to help him get out of prison, like they did Cardinal George Pell. I mean, that's how stupid our justice system is for, you know, for covering up crimes against pedophiles. Like, you know, Grace Tame uh, came out and actually talked about a teacher who abused her uh, when she was a, a teenager at high school um, in Tasmania. A state where you can't even talk about, you know, the perpetrators without, you know, the legal problems of all that. Now, that's how stupid Tasmania are on those laws. Now, yeah, so it took a while for her to even come out and talk about the abuse that she had from this teacher. Now, all these pedophiles are always, you know... Um, their crimes are always covered up or that most of what they've done is, you know, all covered up and they're all part of certain cults. Um, it helps them they get away with all their crimes, just like, you know, Jimmy Savile, um, even Rolf Harris and all that sort of stuff, and who was behind all that sort of stuff too. Um, they're all covered up. You know, those who work in the entertainment industry, including, you know, uh, Corey Feldman and all that. I mean, he was a victim of child abuse as well from some of the producers of certain movies that he starred in during the 80s and 90s. So, it's throughout the world and it's all connected to these cults and the government basically hides all these, you know, pedophiles and their crimes, including the church. The Catholic Church does these. So, no, I don't think Robert Hughes should be given parole early at all, unless his mates in these cults are going to help him out. You know, and he wants to be deported back to the UK. So, I mean, a guy at his age, I think he's in his 70s, maybe 80s, um, yeah, if he gets COVID-19, he's going to die anyway, so, yeah, maybe it's a good idea to deport him, but he shouldn't be released early, he should actually serve the rest of his crime, which is up until 2025, so four years from now, um, yeah, he should be, you know, released from prison, um, yeah, so his crimes were covered up. Um, the victim of of his abuse is now, you know, married, and uh, she played the character Samantha, I think, um, in the show Hey Dad. Yeah, um, you know, she's married now to an American. Uh, I think she's got American citizenship, and they live on a boat in Florida. And she's actually served in the U.S. Army, I think. Um, and speaks with a, a sort of Australian-ish American accent, um, yes. And, yeah, it was good that she came out and actually talked about the abuse that she had from that show and of others on Hey Dad in the entertainment industry and, um, what she felt during the 1990s, uh, you know, and the crimes covered up, basically. Because, you know, the network looks after their stars and they don't care about abuse. Especially producers who encourage it and are part of pedophile cults as well. So, yeah, 
I don't think Robert Hughes should be released from prison anytime soon.